Wizards of the Coast just dropped information about what might be the best selling Magic the Gathering set of all time. Let's talk about everything we know about Commander Masters. The latest master set to be released is focused around what might be Magic the Gathering's largest community. In fact, I'm going to take back might be. I'm just going to say is. That's right. We are getting Commander Masters in August of 2023. So let's take a step back and talk about everything we know about the set so far. I'm going to give you some theories I have with the set. And at the end of this video, I'm going to put my tinfoil hat on and tell you something that I think Wizards could do that would be really, really neat. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that part. But today we have so much to talk about. So let's get into it. I actually have something I don't often have. I have over a page of notes when it comes to talking about this set. We're going to talk about the singles, the, the reprints that have already been kind of previewed and maybe some that I think are coming. We're going to talk about the treatment that those cards are coming in. We're going to talk about the booster packs. How are you going to open these singles and these treatments? Where can you get everything? And finally, we're going to talk about the yes, commander precons. And we're getting four commander precons. I know we're not there yet, but you guys know I don't like two deck Precon sets. So four deck precons is where it's at, and this is a big win. So let's talk about some of the reprints that have already been spoiled. And the first one on the docket is the big reprint itself. That's right. Whether you're a CDH player or you like to play Commander competitively and try to tell yourself you're not competitive Commander player, you know, which is a little weird, it's whatever, but you're getting Jeweled Lotus reprint. That's right. A card that first debuted in Commander Legends 1 is coming back. We're going to see right here on the screen, you should have three different treatments that you see. And this card's a house. It's really cool to see it. We are kind of seeing one of the one of the many borderless treatments. Oh gosh, so many treatments uh, over here looks really nice, but man, it's cool to see a reprint of this card. It's definitely a valuable card and it's something that, you know, it's a theme around the cards we've seen so far. It's only had one major printing. So it's cool to see it get another printing, more opportunity to get those cards out into the market. With that being said, we have another card that last debuted in Commander 2017 in any meaningful way. I think there might've been a secret layer in the middle somewhere in there, but it's the Ur dragon we're getting mr ur dragon himself and a you know a sneak peek as to the treatment the commander specialized treatments where it's like oh it's a beautiful side profile re-getting the ur dragon i think ur dragon's like a 40 to 45 dollar card right now correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section below but it's cool to see that reprint and then finally the oh i practice this pronunciation the last reprint we're seeing is the capture of jin zhao that's right a card that we haven't seen since portal 3 kingdoms we're seeing capture of jin zhao it's really cool another time walk effect a cool commander card and these reprints do seem to be focused around cards or at least the ones we've seen so far cards that we've only seen you know one you know one or two printings of so i think that's going to be a central theme for reprints in this first ever commander masters product and it's a point for a side tangent here what a not creative title it's a master set focused on commander oh, let's call it commander masters like i guess whatever so those are the reprints we've seen so far but how are those cards going to look when they get into the regular enthusiast hands when you and i open these cards what are they going to look like well we have a little peek behind the curtain as to some of the treatments that we'll be getting these cards in we've got several we were promised in this video several borderless treatments the first being and i have it in my notes here the frame break borderless treatment and that's what you saw on the jewel lotus on the in the first portion of this video where it feels like the card is coming through the frame it's going past the frame beyond the frame and you know whether it's coming at you or moving out into the real world whatever it is that's the frame break treatment we're also getting the profile borderless cards you see mr ur dragon earlier with the side profile the beautiful gorgeous side profile of the ur dragon that you're going to see on this card and it's that treatment is promised to be on you know specific commander cards so specific legends and iconic commanders so, so cards that are will sit out there and i think that's a really cool treatment it's going to be the focus of the commander of that legend so it's nice to have that be the 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 focal focal point of the art not a lot going on just kind of the theme or, or who is the topic of the card we're also going to get a big one here textured foil cards uh, we, we've seen more and more textured foil cards from Wizards of the Coast as of recent, and it's very cool. Like, listen, textured foil cards in today's day and age are, you know, they're a mainstay in several different TCGs and, and many products. It's really nice to see them kind of leaning into that here. Textured foil cards coming. Normally a community hit. I expect to see nothing new here. We're also getting 
you maybe something that the rest of the community doesn't like, but I love, we're getting etched foil cards. So that's the etched foiling process, which debuted uh, a couple years ago. What was it? Was it Commander Legends 1 that the etched foil? Yeah, it might've been Commander Legends 1, the etched foil debuted and most people didn't like it. I love it. They've worked on the coloring and the process over time. And I really like the etched foil. So those are just some of the treatments we're going to see these cards in. Uh, I, I expect there to be many more. Listen, it's Wizards of the Coast. We know we're going to get tons of treatments, but when it comes to these treatments, where are we going to get them? That's right, from booster packs. And the booster pack breakdown is something we're extremely familiar with. We have draft, set, and collector boosters. The three big skews are making their return for Commander Masters. And there's a couple tweaks to some of these products. And the most interesting one is maybe the Commander Masters draft being, you know, two rare or mythic cards in these products and a foil in every pack so leaning back into like the commander motif that we've seen with a lot of this draft product it's really cool to see you know, hey you're guaranteed two rares in your draft pack you're guaranteed a foil uh it makes the draft packs more exciting commander draft is it's 100 a weird space if you like it you're like a total advocate for it you love it and if you don't like it you, you, it really leaves a bad taste in your mouth. The first Commander Legends I know events just took forever. It was insane. So it, it's going to be interesting to see how that shakes out. But that's the layout of the draft pack. The set pack is still the premier pack for cracking packs and getting cards. That's right. I think we're promised two rare or greater in every pack. And we're also promised a borderless card in every pack. I think there's also probably a foil in every pack knowing set packs. I, I don't know. If, oh gosh. If I'm, if you crucify me in the comment section, if I'm wrong on that, I'm sure there's a foil in every pack and a borderless card in every pack. So now we see kind of the uptick. You go to the set box is what you can get. And then the collector box is kind of a hodgepodge of all the treatments and goodness that you can get in the set. It is five rares or above in every pack with two of those rares or above being borderless and a total of five borderless cards in every pack in in every collector booster pack right so five borderless cards two of them are going to be rare five total rares in the pack you know two out of the five rares being borderless and this is where you're going to be getting kind of the special the special treatments when we talk about etched, etched foils texture foils yada, yada 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 they will come in this product so collector product being a big hit it'll be interesting to see if this trends like the first collector product which also kind of had a jewel lotus and commander legends collect was i mean it was hot it was popping off or if it's going to trend more like something that we see on the shelf here that we just we don't talk about bruno no 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 but that is the kind of pack skew breakdown but the big hitter is the four set or the four deck pre-con series that we're going to see in this set some of these decks are crazy exciting there's a there's a deck with a unique there's a deck of a unique type that we've never seen before so let's get into those probably the least exciting is the enduring enchantments abzan deck uh i really hope there's some cool spice in here oh there's something special about this commander decks we're gonna talk about here in a second but let's let's just talk about what the decks are there's a jeskai planeswalker party deck Woo, planeswalkers and with you know one being a a recent set release as of the recording of this video we saw a lot of planeswalker matters super friend strategy boost so it's nice to see that you know followed up later this year with you know a place to a pre-con place to kind of use some of these cards i like when there's a little bit of synergy like that we have the sliver swarm deck with what might be an iconic sliver on the cover i don't know if that's a misdirect i don't know how that's working but Whew, this deck is going to be hot. I can see this one being a uh, community favorite. And the never-before-seen colorless commander deck, the Eldrazi Unbound. And for commander casuals, someone like me that generally plays, you know, modern pioneer 60-card constructed formats one-on-one, -on -one, I've always dabbled in commander and wanted to know, like, oh, colorless commander seems sweet, but I didn't want to have the cop out of just, like, going online, searching colorless commander and building something, you know, some stock deck. It's interesting to see a pre-con coming this way. I, I definitely, I will be playing this pre-con as someone who's not the biggest commander enthusiast, but I dabble here and there. I'll be playing this pre-con, so it's a cool way to pull people in. And the big news with these commander pre-cons is there's actually going to be, in a master set, 10 brand new cards in each deck that's right so the deck will be made of reprints but this is an opportunity to get 10 never before played cards into hand the hands of players now this might cause some some craziness on the secondary market i'm excited to follow that and as this channel always does as i always do i will be tracking the sale of every single sealed product that is sold on tcg player if you like data like that make sure you visit me at patreon.com slash hometown tcg i will 
make all of that data available to my patrons. I will talk about it in videos. So if you're not yet, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I think it's something like 90% of viewers aren't subbed yet. So come on, guys. It, it helps me out a ton. I appreciate each and every one of you. But something that would be neat with this set is if we saw, you know, kind of the printing process and the set design process turned on its head. I think the quote during the video was, this is a set comprised of, mostly of, cards specifically for commander so it'd be cool to see a couple slots in these booster packs you know throughout these booster packs where instead of a standard set where you have commander specific cards and we're shoving commander down your throat maybe we reprint some pioneer cards let's reprint some modern cards what do you guys think about that if they had a set like a slot in this set where you're opening like pioneer modern maybe some vintage car like i i think some of this stuff would be really cool let me know what you think in the comment section below this set is primed to be something that could be awesome for magic the gathering's largest community guys i'm excited for this set i hope you're excited for the set and if you're excited for the set and you like the vibe around here share this video with a friend or group of friends i think these conversations are really important and you know it's a great talking point for members of our community guys thank you so much for hanging out until next time you all know me. my name is josh and i hope you enjoy what we we talk about you know in the future we'll talk soon bye i can't reach the camera Come on.